question. If you separate from your spouse, can you date or have a male friend? You can have a male friend, but separation does not mean you're divorced. So no, you should not date someone else. God does not approve that. Because what happens is a lot of married people separate and they go back together. So basically, in my opinion and God's opinion, that's adultery. You date that person, you know, you're going to be tempted to do different things, you know, and that's not right. So um, to the woman that wrote that, you know, I, I would advise you, you know, you can have a male friend, yes, but just set your boundaries because you're still married. What God has in mind for my life as a married woman? I take this as a question. What does God has in mind for my life as a married woman? God expects you to be a wife. Respect your husband. As I spoke earlier about the gift of marriage, trust, honesty, communicate with your husband. If you have kids, take care of your kids as God expects you to. Above all things, make sure, because you are a wife, make sure that God is the head of your relationship. Make sure he's the head of your marriage at all times. And if I have not answered your question, you can see me after the um, conference, and I can speak to you more. After the husband, after the kids, what's next? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Basically, kids are in your house for 18 years. Oh. Your husband till death do you part. Oh, no. Wow. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, like I said a while ago, God is expecting you to be that wife, be that mother that he created you to be. Respect your kids, respect your husband at all times, and just allow God to guide you and lead you. You are the woman in the family, the woman of the household, you know, set example for your daughter at all times. Also your son, but your daughter, you know, your daughter look up to you at all times. So just allow God to guide you in that relationship. God will tell you exactly what's next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please explain the need to pray and praise God when in pain. Mm -hmm. Please explain why when you pray and ask God for things, he must, you must state that if it is in your will, and back up your request with his promises in the word. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Like I always tell people, God allows you to go through things for reasons. Yes. yes. A lot of doors open and close all the time. God knows exactly why those doors are opening, why they are closing. A lot of you run and chase closed doors. But God knows exactly why he shut that door. So instead of trying to open up that door, seek God. And allow him to tell you why he shut that door in the first place. So like I said, a lot of you go through those testings and trials. Your test is going to be a testimony one day. Mm -hmm. Someone is actually looking at you. You may be going through issues. You may be going through struggles. Like I told this woman right here in the black. You know, she went through that for a reason. And God is going to use her to inspire other women. Like I told her, I see her helping abuse women, you know, inspire them, um, cancer survivors and everything like that. God allow you, during that time of pain, you know, you stayed on your knees and you prayed and asked God to guide you. And that's what we should do at all times. You know, that pain helped you. That mess is now a message. And that, that's what God expects of us. You know, it, it, may be, it may be pain right now, but like I said, you know, that pain is not going to be forever. And sometimes God allows us to go through pain too. Yeah. You know, we go through that testing for a reason. He's testing your patience. He's testing your faith. 
Do you know what hope is? Do you know what faith is? Are you like Job? We all know about the story of Job and what he went through. Job did not give up. Even when his wife tell, told him to curse God and die, he still believed in God. So that pain that you're going through right now is for a reason. And God knows exactly what that reason is, and he's going to show you in due time. So just stay on your knees and pray. Stay in the word. Whatever the devil is trying to do to you, just tell the devil to back off. Stay in the word and stay on your knees and trust God. Your faith should be elevated. Amen. Jesus. Yes. God is testing your faith. Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking at the woman right now that wrote this. God is testing your faith. So just trust God. Trust him and believe that that pain is not going to be forever. Amen. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, God. Um, before we start the press session, before we take a five-minute break, um, ladies, empowered by God's spirit, um, this, is, um, this is just the beginning, especially for Sister Simra. Um, so if anyone would like to give a love offering or donations, you can place it in one of the baskets um, and allow God to do what he's about to do, especially in Simra's life. Like I say, God is about to elevate Simra. This is her appointed time. So if you would like to sow a seed into ladies empowered by God's spirit. Um, We'll go ahead and do a five minute break. There's more food back there and um, cake and cookies and drinks. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and pray. Because like I said, I believe in restoration and broken chains tonight before we leave this building. Amen. 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 Amen.